<clears throat> so these are recall foundation gains. Um, basically all I do is throw a treat one way, the dog retrieves it. As soon as he turns, I mark it with the word yes, and I throw a treat the other way. Sometimes you'll see me throw the treat and then drop a treat near me so the dog comes back to me. Sometimes you'll see me throw a treat side to side. Uh, sometimes you'll see me throwing treats uh, while we're walking along. So I'll throw one off to the right, then one off to the left. Um, they're just all different styles of playing the game. Um, initially you must teach this game at home um, with just a few yards away from the dog. So you'll throw the treat, let the dog run over to the treat. As soon as your dog turns, you mark it with the word yes and throw another treat the other direction. But don't throw it too far to start with and almost always must be taught at home first and then maybe in the garden and then you can start using it um, out on walks but you've got to get that bit at home established first and then you can extend the game like I'm doing with this dog in this video. So here you're going to see some turn to me games um, in, at the normal speed. Um, so what I'm going to do in the next part of the videos that you see I'm going to just say yes where I would say yes to mark what I want um, so you can see where you need to mark your turn so here goes yes 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 Yes. I can't see there, so I won't mark it. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's my cat, ignore that. Yes. 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 So basically, that's where you need to mark your yeses. Um, the uh, game must be taught at home first, because as you can see, it's quite fast paced once you get out and about. Um, once they really get it, that is what you want to be seeing from your dog.